the uh, blood vessels of the white heart. We're really kind of focused on what's going on up here. And then we'll take them into the head and into the crystal skull. All right, so here's your aorta. There's your ascending aorta. There's your arch, and it's gonna continue around the back. Descending, you can always already start to see some of the branches that are coming off of it. So let's start at the beginning. So you can't see the first two branches. That's the right and left coronaries. They're taking care of the coronary circulation. They're underneath here. We'll go to the third branch right here. So it begins here, it ends here. That's the brachiocephalic trunk. It's found on the right side of the heart only. There's no brachiocephalic trunk on the left side. The brachiocephalic trunk is then gonna split. The right common carotid going up head and neck region and the right subclavian going into the arm. Okay. Behind common carotid, you see the vertebral. Off of the subclavian, you see the thyrocervical trunk, which is gonna have three branches coming off. And you can see the internal thoracic coming off of the subclavian. Okay, that's all right side. You have the same stuff on the left, less the trunk. So the left common carotid comes right off of the aorta. The left subclavian comes off of the aorta. The thyrocervical trunk in the back. The left vertebral and possibly the internal thoracic. So that's what we see here. And there are veins that go with it. And we haven't done the veins together as a class, but we can include them in the video while we have it here. So the veins are bringing blood back to the heart. And you can see they're kind of matched with the, with the arteries. Most veins have the same name as the artery. Some exceptions. Some of the exceptions exist right here. Meaning, what matches up with the aorta? In this case, the superior vena cava. Look, right? This is coming out, this is going in. But there's also the inferior vena cava, bringing blood back to the heart. Okay? Feeding into the superior vena cava, you have these two branches. Well, there is a match. Brachiocephalic trunk, right brachiocephalic vein. But there's a left brachiocephalic vein, okay? They are mirror images of one another, but again, there is nothing to match this on this side. This was our common carotid. Here's the matching vessel. This is called the jugular. So this is the internal jugular and there is an external jugular. So these are exceptions, right? They match up with the carotid. We have a subclavian artery. We do have a subclavian vein, so they do match. We have a vertebral artery and a vertebral vein, okay? There's a thyrocervical trunk. Maybe that matches up with this. Okay, but there is no real match for those two. So you see some of the names are the same, some are a little different. Same on this side, right? Brachiocephalic vein on the left. Left subclavian vein, left external jugular, left internal jugular, left vertebral vein, so there's some of the veins that match up with the arms. Now, if we take this, okay, and we switch this out for the crystal skull, my assistant will now hand me the crystal skull. We retrieved this from the cave, right? With Indiana Jones. We left off right here. There's the common, con common carotid on the right common carotid on the left. Common carotid is gonna bifurcate, it's gonna split into two branches. One is gonna remain and feed the vessels outside the skull, 
and one is gonna go deep into the, through the carotid canal to feed the vessels inside the skull, all right? So this is the external carotid, stays outside, and behind it, the internal carotid. It's gonna go inside. And we have some branches off of the external, and then we're gonna have some branches off of the internal. For the external, okay, we're gonna use this, and we can use this guy right like this beside. We have a branch that goes to the occipital area. We call it the occipital artery here and over here. Mm -hmm. We have a branch that goes to the temporal region, the superficial temporal artery, superficial temporal artery. We have a branch that goes to the face, muscles of the face. Now on this model, it would be this one, the longer one, and it's supposed to be glued over the mandible. That would be the facial, facial. Okay. We have a couple others. Here's a superior thyroid coming off. It's gonna go onto the thyroid gland. And you have a little tiny short one, hard to get to. See if we can get him out. Come on. There he is, the lingual. Okay, there's the lingual branch sitting over my finger. Under the zygomatic arch, inside there, there's your maxillary artery, maxillary. 